Well, it's not very often that I get in front of the camera, but uh, I kind of have to to show you this. Here's a, a block valve, uh, and somebody asked me, well, you know, how can I check a block valve like this? And of course, you could build a fancy jig, you know, that has uh, supplies the vacuum and hooks up to a bellow or something like that. You know, it could a lot of things you could do, but the way that I do it is I just suck on them by mouth. 99% of your block valves on the bottom is where the vacuum is applied, and this is uh, the top is where the uh, the bellow would connect to. So what I do is I just take my upper lip and I cover the hole on top, and then I suck uh, on the bottom, something like this. You have another type of block valve. Here's a Wurlitzer block valve. Again, it's got the two chambers, vacuum and uh, vacuum in, and then this goes to the bellow. And here again, you just now I'm not sucking with a lot of uh, a lot of vacuum, probably around seven to ten inches. Um, in fact, I mean, if I were to take the gauge right here, what's that, about ten inches? Yeah, I'm not sucking it any harder than that, so that's basically it.